But first, hot on the heels of yesterday's revelations about how political polling science, not health science, drove the Andrews Govan pandemic policy, comes an explosive leaked letter claiming that the Andrews Govan has tried to corrupt Victoria's anti-corruption body. And it's not just any letter. It's a letter that comes from the top, from a former judge and now retired head of Victoria's Anti-Corruption Commission, Robert Redlick, KC. This damning letter from the former IBAC head was sent late last year to the presiding officers of the Victorian Parliament. And we know about it today because it's been leaked to the Herald Sun and published in full. In the letter, the outgoing anti-corruption commissioner has accused the Andrews government of, quote, revenge attacks on his organisation. In retaliation, he says, for a series of probes into its dealings. There are, as we know, currently at least five IBAC probes into the Victorian Labor government, including the Premier. These probes involve the government and the Premier's involvement too in allegedly corrupt land deals, alleged sweetheart deals between the government and the firefighters' union, the government's alleged misuse of political staffers, the government's alleged mishandling of union grants. In the letter in the five-page attachment, the IBAC Commissioner says the government MPs directed auditors looking into the running of his commission to, and I quote, find dirt on IBAC. The Commissioner says, quote again, what is most concerning is that the government majority on the Parliamentary Oversight Committee seemed intent on casting IBAC in a negative light for what we can only assume were political reasons relating to the work undertaken by IBAC. He says that IBAC's experience with his oversight committee evidences, and I quote, a lack of fairness, partisanship and leaking of information to the media. He goes on, IBAC has been concerned for some time now that partisan politics has intruded into the workings of this committee on issues of integrity. I mean, this is damning, isn't it? I mean, red lick let's not forget, has had a distinguished 50-year law career in Victoria, a former judge of the Victorian Supreme Court's Court of Appeal. Now, he was appointed to the IBAC Commissioner's role by Daniel Andrews to a five-year term. Yet in this letter, as he leaves the IBAC post, he speaks out about, and I quote again, extraordinary undermining, he says, of IBAC that may have been, and he says this in writing, directed by the Premier's private office. Now, it should be noted that the IBAC Commissioner, that job, currently vacant. The government is in the process of selecting a new Commissioner and the Labor Control Committee that the Commissioner was writing about, the one stomping on him, well, they have veto powers over the new appointment. This letter, as explosive as it is, is just the latest illustration of the Labor Party state that Andrews runs here in Victoria. The police, the public service, even the judiciary have been stacked with Labor sympathisers. But this letter from the IBAC Commissioner claiming an attempt to novel an anti-corruption process is extraordinary. And it's new insight into just how far the Andrews government has gone in trying to politicise Victoria. Now, naturally, the Premier claimed, as he always does, there's nothing to see here. I'm not having a debate with a former head of an agency that's apparently written a letter that I haven't seen. Funny, he says he hasn't seen the Redlick letter, but then he says this. Uh, but I absolutely reject any suggestion by him or anybody else uh, that the government does not behave appropriately. The government does behave appropriately. I mean, he's even starting to forget his own lies, isn't he? Because how can he on one hand say he hasn't seen the letter and then say that? And as weary as Victorians might be with scandal after scandal from this rotten to the core government, it doesn't get more serious than this asse assessment of corruption as alleged from a former Supreme Court judge and IBAC chief, Robert Redlick. I mean, this is as serious as it gets. The opposition today, the Liberal Party, showed more fight than I've seen in years by taking this issue up in the Parliament. We have the former head of Victoria's Anti-Corruption Commission accusing this government of corruption, 
corruption by trying to subvert the processes of this parliament. The only pity is it's, well, almost four years now until the next election. But surely before then, this Premier will be forced out by his colleagues because this is beyond the pale. And unless they do something about Daniel Andrews, they are all tainted with a corrupt brush.